Welcome to the very first uh, Jarvis session video. Uh, these session videos are, are designed to show you how the technology works of the Jarvis system uh, and explain to you how mine works so that you can apply the concepts and the ideas to your own Jarvis system that you may be building, your own DLA that you may be building in your houses or apartments. Uh, the first session video is going to be about speech recognition because it's the most requested I found. Uh, and uh, here we go. So as you can see, I'm on the Mac Mini uh, over here. Uh, in front of you, you can see I'm running on the Mac Mini that Jarvis runs on. Uh, this Mac Mini is very, very old, uh, more than four years, I believe, and it's got like 5, 12 megabytes of RAM. But um, as you can see, I'm running Mac Speech Dictate, and I have a command called Jarvis. I'm going to demonstrate this right now real quick. Jarvis. Yes, sir. Turn off studio light. Execute. Studio has been turned off. As you can see, the light was just turned off um, over there. So the the microphone that I'm using is the uh, Revo Labs X Tag microphone. I think it retails for around two hundred dollars or so, two hundred fifty maybe. Um, it works pretty well. Uh, so as you can see, it's wireless. Battery life is about nine hours, I think, or something like that. It's a good microphone if you're looking for one to pick up. Um, you cannot use a Bluetooth or a regular auto jack microphone for uh, Mac Speech Dictate. I think there's some hacks to get that to work, but um, not that I don't really know how to do it myself. But uh, this one, this microphone works pretty well, I feel. Um, so let me explain how that worked exactly. Let me open up the um, commands. Now, when I said the command, you know, turn on studio light to, to, to dictate the text to the system, uh, you, you could probably tell it was kind of slow in, in doing that. And I think a big part of that is probably because of the Mac Mini that Jarvis is running on. It's only got 512 megabytes of memory. So um, if you have more, like 2 gigs, that's probably a lot better. And it'll probably will work a lot faster, I would think, than this Mac Mini. Um, so don't worry about how slow it is. I think if you have a faster machine than I do, uh, it'll probably be much faster. But I'll go to, um, there you go, Jarvis. So here is the source code. I'm going to put this up on my blog, which is projectjarvis.com is the, is the blog website. And, uh, and I'm going to show you how this, this code works. So first thing it does here is tell the application Mac to be dictate to set the microphone to, to dictate instead of, instead of command mode. So it, goes, so it converts the... Um, the text that it, the information it gets over the uh, speech in the text to, to dictate it into a, a text dialog box. Uh, then it loads my library script, and then it uh, uses a library script that says to speak uh, yes sir. So if you don't have a library script, that should be just fine. Uh, I don't think you need to do this thing. You can just do um, say yes sir. That should also work as well, uh, but I have everything routed through my library just because it makes it easier for me. Um, and then it repeats this command here of display, um, display dialog, speech update, default answer is nothing, and then set my command to text return of that. So when I say Jarvis, I basically bring up a dialog box. I can dictate what I want to say to that. Uh, to uh, Jarvis through that little dialog box and there's a second command called execute as you can see here that essentially is just a uh, text micro to do a return it's a, an enter uh, so it just returns a text in that text field uh, to be executed and once it actually does that um, it actually will will process the command and this is a library command it's this, this command, uh, this function, process command, is not in the library that I shared uh, on the website. Um, so if you don't see it in your library, you probably won't see it. Um, I kind of left it out of there for some reasons. But um, basically, it's taking the text and it's passing it to the JAR system. So it actually used to do this through a command line interface, uh, CLI, but uh, I switched it to, to go to the library instead. You can do it however you feel works best for you, but essentially, it's just saying, you say Jarvis, which runs this Apple script here, which brings up the dialog box. You say whatever is the command you want to give it, and then enter, which returns the text into the Jarvis system for interpretation and execution. And that's essentially the basics and how this concept works. Um, and I'm going to put this uh, this 
this text right here on the website projectjarvis.com uh, so you can use the uh, this Apple script right here if you want to use it um, and uh, that's basically the uh, how the speech recognition works.